Hi, everybody. It's me, Mimi. How are you today? I am so happy to see you. Thank you for coming to my channel. So today, I want to tell you about my special friend. I have a friend named Maggie. Do you have any good friends? Are any of your friends named Maggie? <laughs> Maggie gave me a whole bunch of books that I can share with you. And so today, we're going to read this one. It is called Skippy John Jones by Judy Schochner. I think it's about a, a cat. Yes, it's about a cat. Before we get started, make sure that you like and subscribe my channel so I can bring you more stories. Okay, let's begin. Skippy John Jones by Judy Schochner. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. You see them? There's the birds. You know how sometimes the birds cheep, cheep, cheep when you wake up? When they wake up? And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Bridges, ordered Mama June Bug Jones. <laughs> there he is. He's in the nest with the birds, singing his heart out. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mrs. Doohiggy's bird bath. I don't think Mommy's very happy. <laughs> Look, I like her apron. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse, or a grouse, not a moose, or a goose, not a rat, or a bat. What you need to think about, just what it means to be a Siamese cat. <laughs> And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. Uh-oh, it looks like Skippy John Jones is in timeout. He doesn't seem to be very happy about it. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I bounce on my bed. Once or six times, I land on my head. Oh, he's jumping in the air, bouncing, bouncing. How fun. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Oh! <gasps> Holy walk a moly exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? <gasps> what do you think he saw in the mirror? Let's find out. So up he went again and again, it appeared. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he said, my ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I'm not a Siamese cat. <gasps> I'm a chihuahua. <laughs> Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a muy, muy soft voice. My name is Skippy Tito Frisquito. I'm not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. 
I, I'm sweet like the jello. I get the job done. Yes, indeed. Oh, clap, clap. He's playing dress up and pretend. Do you ever do that? Do you like to play dress up? Back in the kitchen, Juju B, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Juju B. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. See, they're making breakfast or lunch. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. It looks like he's having an adventure in his room. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down to a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterioso band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay, caramba, who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I'm El Skippitito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Do you see the little chihuahuas he encountered? He's riding his mouse horse. Or his mouse. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked Poquito Tito. I go incognito, said Skippy Tito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Pintolito. See, sí, I love mice and beans, said Skippy Tito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Wow, that's a lot of chihuahuas. Leaning forward, Don Diego, El Skipitito, half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. Ah, Pichu! <laughs> Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Skipitito. Then it's true, decreed Don Diego. Yippee, yippee, yippito! It's the end of Alfred Buzito. Skipitito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad Bumblecito. Then all of the chimichangos went crazy. Loco. See the password? Ah, choo, <laughs> First, they had a fiesta. That's a party. And then they took a siesta. That's a nap. So there they are having their party with Skippy Tito the Bandito. And now they're all piled into the bed to have a nap. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great Bumblebito for Skipitito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos, so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfred Bozito whispered the crowd, El Blimpo Bumblebito Bandito. Si, sí, said Poquito Tito. The bandito steals our frijoles. Not your beans, cried Skippy Tito, outraged. Si, sí, Poquitito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa coffee, kidney beans, pinto and jelly, too. And now he comes for us, Poquito added. Por qué? said Skippy Tito. Because we are full of beans, too. 
Then, Don Diego stood tall and in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijoles! Huh? asked Skippitito. The dude just wants his bean ba beans back, said Poquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? said Skippitito. Then all of the chimichangos turned towards Skippitito, the great sword fighter. See the, the picture he drew in the sand of the Bumbabito? <laughs> but poor Skippy Tito had, now, had no time for a plan, because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamonos, Skippy Tito, or it's you, the bandito, will eat, though, he cried. Skippy Tito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like the jello, and his teeth shattered like the castanets. Then, in a moy, moy, soft voice, he said, My name is Skippy Tito, Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. But Alfred Bozito flew straight for Skippy Tito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijoles, cried Skippy Tito as he thrust his sword into the air. Oh, look at that big shadow. He's not afraid. Do you think he's afraid? Suddenly, pop! Went the bandito, landing on Skippy Tito's sword, and quicker than anyone could say chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfred Buzito, the bumblebito bandito. <laughs> He popped the bumblebee, and look, all the beads, the beans came flying out of him. Look, they've got kidney beans, and navy beans, and jelly beans, lima beans, and green beans. <laughs> then all the doggies burst into song. Yippee, yippee, ito! Clap, clap. Our hero is El Skipitito, clap, clap. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans. And now we can make our burritos, clap, clap. <laughs> All the little chihuahuas are so happy. I don't think the bumblebee is very happy, though. <laughs> But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hallway into the kitty boy's room, just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Oh, my goodness. He was supposed to be thinking. Uh-oh. Then out flew candy, beanbag doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday piñata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Hola, muchachitas, he said in a muy, muy soft voice. Mama Junebug lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry, purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. So it wasn't a, a bumblebee after all. It was a piñata. <laughs> His mommy sure does love him. That night when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. 
I know I'm a cat. But I forget that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones called his mama. Buenas noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. And he's going to sleep in his bed. The end. I really liked this story. Did you? I like it when when you can use your imagination. Do you ever use your imagination to think of of things that are exciting or fun for you? Yeah, me too. Well, that's the story of Skippy John Jones. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe to my channel so I can bring you more stories. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.